take a look at um, parts of this problem. We may not show it completely. And uh, get my calculator up and running here. Okay, now this first first on part right here, you can use your calculator to do it. And might as well since we have to enter our data anyway. If I click the table here, this brings up our X values and our Y values. So over my calculator, I'll do stat, do enter on edit. And I have a few numbers there, so I'll press delete on each one of those to clean them out. There we go. So I got negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, this one I got negative 2, 0, 2, 3, 5. Now I'm going to go to my y equals, see if I have anything left over from, from algebra, and I do in my case, so I'll press clear to clear out that line. Then we're going to do second y equals. We want to do enter on plot 1, and I want to choose the on, so press enter on it. I'm going to down arrow to type, and we want the first one right there. So your cursor should be on it, and you just go ahead and press enter. And then it should default to L1 and L2. Then we'll press zoom, and we want to choose 9. You could simply just press the 9, but I want to show it. 9 is zoom stat. So I press enter on that. And that gives us our scatter plot. And, um, Negative 2, what was negative 1? Probably 0, if I had to guess. Yeah, negative 1, 0. Can't really see it, except for it's got an extra little line there. That's what made me think it's right there. So on your, um, this, uh, scatterplot is just a uh, graphing, uh, plotting points. And um, you can see here that you can choose the little uh, oh, magnifying glass to, to zoom in. And then you can see that... Um, I guess there's a little extra line there too. You can see that uh, matches matches that one. If I were to zoom in on this one, um, negative two. Looks like negative two, negative two, which is um, negative two, negative two. This one's negative one zero. Ah, so that's not right there. Uh, so again, remember, scatter plot is just plotting points. Okay. It says find the equation line containing the points negative 2 and negative 2 and 2 and 5. So let me show that. That's an algebra topic. Negative 2, negative 2, and um, 2 and 5. If you remember from algebra, your first step would be to find m. So we subtract uh, the y values. So we've got 5 minus minus 2 over 2 minus negative 2. Again, subtracting my y values and then subtracting my x values. Well, negative negative gives us positive, so 5 plus 2 is 7, and 2 plus 2 gives us 4. So we get m is equal to 7 fourths. Then we want to plug in one of the points in for x and y, doesn't matter which one. I'll pick the second one, so I'll plug that in for x, plug that in for y. So put 5 there. We just said m was 7 fourths. Put 2 in for the x plus b. And um, here this 4 and 2 simplify, so that gives us 7 halves plus b. Take 7 halves over. This is a mixed number. 5 times 2 is 10 plus a negative 7 gives us 3. So we get b is equal to 3 halves. And then step 3 is actually write our answer down. So we plug in the m from step 1, which was 7 fourths. And we'll plug in the b from step 2, which was 3 halves. So we got 7 uh, y is equal to 7 fourths x plus 3 halves. It looks like they're one in uh, decimals. 1.75. Yeah, 1.75 plus 1 1.5. Should look what the answers were saying first. But, uh, let's see. 1.75 plus 1.5.
That doesn't say to put it in a decimal. Okay. It might take either one. Okay, so now it says graph that line we just found on the scatter diagram. So what I can do is I'm going to take this and go back to my graph. I go to y equals. I'm on y1 and I put in 1.75 x plus 1.5 and then graph. And that'll give you your graph, um, your line on your your scatter plot. Okay, D. Determine least squares regression line. Okay, well, um, to do the least squares regression line, go back to our calculator. We'll do a second mode to exit out. Now, um, your diagnostics has to be on uh, for for some of this. I don't remember which, to be honest. But if you only have to do this one time, if you do second zero to go to your catalog, and then uh, we won't go down to the D's. So I'll go ahead and just push this X1, and I'm down to the D's. Now I keep doing a down arrow until I get the di diagnostics on. Now once my little cursor is next to it, then I press enter twice. It should come back and say done. Okay. Now we're going to do a stat, right arrow to calc. And then I'll choose 4 for linear regression and press enter. And the A and B will plug into this Y is equal to AX plus B. So A is 1.7 and B is 1.6. And this would be our least squares regression line. Okay, um, let's see, what else? Graph that. Um, I won't do that. What we'd do is we'd go put this on Y1, press graph again, just like we did that other one. Uh, compute the sum of the square, squared residuals for the line found in part B. Okay. So the sum of the squared residuals. We got our X values. which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. We got our y values, which was negative 2, 0, 2, 3, 5. And they're wanting us to use uh, this one first. Okay. This is actually y hat. Uh, that's, our, that's our model. That's, that's our prediction. So we're going to have y hat equals 1.75x plus 1.5. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in each one of these x values in for x. So we'll have 1.75 times negative 2 plus 1.5. We'll have 1.75 times negative 1 plus 1.5. We'll have 1.75 times 0 plus 1.5. We'll have 1.75 times 1 plus 1.5, and we'll have 1.75 times 2 plus 1.5. Now I'm not going to sit there and do all these. Uh, I'll just do the easy one. <laughs> 1.75 times 0, 0 plus 1.5 is 1.5. I think you get the idea. Then we want to find a new column that's y minus y hat. So we're going to take the y values here, and we're going to subtract what we just found here. Like in this case, we have 2 minus 1.5. Again, I take the y value here minus the y hat. And that gives us 0 0.5. Then we want a new column where we square that. So you can take that value, which is 0 0.5, and you'll square it. And um, I think that's 0.25. Now you do that for each one of these lines, and then the sum of the squared residuals, what you'll do is you're going to add together this uh, last column, and that'll give you your answer. Now the last one here, and it says uh, compute the sum of the squared residuals for the least squares regression line found in part D. Well, um, we do the same thing, but instead of 1.75 and 1.5, we'd use this 1.7x plus 1.6. So You'd have 1.7 times each x value plus your 
and that'd give you some of your squared residuals.